Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Gougeres. I think that's how you say it. I always used to say Gourgere, but I don't think that's right. Gougere is a French puffed pastry. In America here, we call them cheese puffs. So anyway, very simple dough. You may remember this dough from such videos as cauliflower soup with blue cheese fritters. So we're gonna take some water and some butter with a little pinch of salt. We're gonna bring it to a simmer and over medium heat, I'm gonna stir in my flour. The measurements are critical and crucial and very important. So go to foodwishes.com to get the measurements if you're not already there. Are right, you gonna whisk in the flour and you're gonna cook the flour for a couple minutes. It's gonna kinda of come into like a, I don't know, like a ball. It's gonna come, it's gonna come together, you'll see. And when it's kinda of like that and all the flour is dissolved and it's nice and smooth and it's cooked for a couple minutes to take kinda of the raw edge off, you're gonna scrape that into a bowl to let it cool a little bit. Because what we gotta do here is whisk in some eggs. So we spread it out so it cools. I'm gonna add a couple things to this, some beautiful fresh thyme, some delicious sharp cheddar cheese, even though Gruyere is traditional, and black pepper. So these are black pepper and thyme Gruyere, which uh, I stole the idea from a bakery, French bakery near my house. So I'm gonna throw in my thyme, I'm gonna throw in my black pepper, and I'm gonna whisk in one egg. And when the first egg is whisked in, I'm gonna add a second egg. But here's the problem. The camera was on and I turned it off, so I missed the shot. So you know what I did? I went to Photoshop and I Photoshopped an egg in the bowl. Looks pretty realistic. Well, not really. But anyway, put in a second egg at that point, whisk it vigorously, 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 until it is completely incorporated like that. I recommend using an electric mixer for this if you have one. I went old school and I usually do hand mixing it. You might get some better results, uh, you know, using the, the electric mixer. You're probably not as buffed as me. All right, when that happens, we're gonna fold in three quarters of the cheese. We're gonna save a little bit for the top. And I'm gonna use this small little sorbet scoop to scoop my dough. And that gave me 12 nice gougere. Am I saying it right? Gougere, gorgere, gougere, I don't know. Sprinkle a little cheese on each one. We're gonna bake that at 425 for 15 to 20 minutes until they're beautiful. And there they are. They're just so amazingly easy and awesomely delicious. So I'm gonna put them on a rack here to cool just a little, and then you eat them. Look at that, completely hollow, just beautiful, delicate, tender, eggy crust. These are so great for parties, like a wine tasting party, the fragrant thyme and that little spice from the black pepper, along with that sharp cheese, my favorite combination. And you know what? If you can't pronounce Gougere or Gorgere or Gougere, like I can't, you can just call them cheese puffs. I hope you give them a try, really fun to make. So anyway, go to the site, get all the ingredients, and as always, enjoy.